this week on Primo's Truth About Hunting. Tim's gonna freak out if it is on hunting with a good friend time. Northern Missouri, first gun season is tomorrow. Buck for running the does. Bow up crew. Bow up crew from Mississippi Delta. He come to that can and that book. The place we run is real thick and natural sanctuary for a lot of these dead running Missouri white. He come to that can. He come to that buck roar. He, he, he did. Oh, it's late night heading up in here to Northern Missouri. here in Missouri where they have that dark black soil, all the agriculture and man it really grows some big old white tail bucks. The only bad thing is having to ride up here with Slade and listen to his music for 10 or 11 miles. We're going to be hunting with our old friend Mr. Tom at Sacred Ground, but we're going to be staying with our buddy Paul Corn and Seth Udala at Tombstone Creek Outfit. Our first morning hunt was pretty slow. But some bad weather was moving out and some good weather was coming in and we were looking forward to that afternoon. It's, uh, it's the first afternoon of our North Missouri gun hunt. We hunted this morning, saw a few deer. Uh, pretty cold. Heard a lot of shooting all around us. Mr. Tom, the landowner, saw what he said was a pretty good buck chasing a doe down here by this pond. So uh, we're in here early. It's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and uh, hopefully that buck is still hanging around. Here comes another buck down this third This segment of Truth About Hunting was brought to you by Mossy Oaks Native Nurseries and Biologic and Summit Tree Stands. Big Missouri whitetail buck, I'm telling you. He come to that can and that buck run. Being good, BK, being real good and lucky. <laughs> you know, I really love coming to northern Missouri in that first couple of weeks in November. I mean, the bucks are rutting, they're with the does, and, you know, if you love to call and grunt and rattle and can, boy, you can really have some fun. All right, boys, let's go get it. All right. Way down right now, they're getting the food. Oh, man. Look at that. Look at that. Big old head. Look at that. Been rubbing. What is that? How many points he got? He's got six on this side and five on this side. Well, and I got our buck loaded up, and now we're going to head back to Tombstone Creek where we're staying, show him off to old PK and the rest of the guys in camp, tell the story a couple more times, maybe add a few things to it, build it up. <laughs> Big buck down, baby. <laughs> is that a toad? Is that a toad, Yankee oh. boy? This segment of Truth About Hunting was brought to you by Smokehouse Salt Company and Tight Spot Arrow Quivers. We call him 
seen a lot of young deer, so we came back to Old Faithful. Bow up crew. Bow up crew from Mississippi Delta. That is some bone, man. That's some serious killing there. Well, after Mr. Jimmy killed that big booner, Mr. Tom said, hey, Slade, why don't you hunt for a few days? I told Jimmy, get them glasses out, old man. You behind the camera now. Well, I hunted for a day and a half. We had some good and bad weather. It kind of warmed up a little bit. We had some fun hunts. We called up a lot of young deer, but nothing that we wanted to shoot. Even though we're gun hunting, it's a lot of fun calling these deer up in the bow range, just watching them rut and chase does everywhere. Same honey hole blind that Mr. Jimmy killed out of. We're back in the honey hole. Jimmy's honey hole. Back down here at the pond blind where Jimmy killed two days ago. I've hunted the last couple days and we've, we've caught in a lot of young deer, you know, just not old enough, big enough to shoot. But we finally got a good, stiff, solid west wind hitting the front in the face, so we came back to Old Faithful. I hope. You know, the other day on Mr. Jimmy's hunt, we caught up several young bucks, including the big 170-inch level point that he killed. So, 171 and 3 eighths. <laughs> 171 and 3 eighths. So, anyway, you know, with all, with all the bucks that we saw, we feel good that, you know, just went to lay down at the wild. facing us the whole time and I couldn't shoot. And he just turned and he walked right there. And I thought he might be going up that big hill. But then he popped out right there, coming down to the water to get him a drink. And he stopped right there. I put it right on his shoulder. I'll tell you what. So we're staying up here with old PK, our buddy Paul Coyne at Tombstone Creek Outfitters. And we're hunting with our good friend Tom over here on the sacred ground, man. It's just... What, what the last few days, man, here in Missouri. This segment of Truth About Hunting was brought to you by Ammo To Go and C Spire Wireless. That's just a good old heavy rudd Missouri whitetail right there. This is uh, back straps off my love pointer, but first we're going to eat a little something. Well, I had a pretty good shot across the old pond with the 308. 225 yards is about what it was. So I felt confident in my shot. We get out, we find the deer. He's only 40 yards from where I shot him. Is that Mr. Jimmy saying? I see. Look at this dude. He's got a, he's got old acorn on this horn. Yeah. And he's got a hole like he's fixing to have a big indenture right there on that main vein. Oh, he's pretty yeah. too. That's just a, Look how thick he is right there. That's just a good old heavy rudd Missouri whitetail right there. You know what I like? You know what I like about him? What's that? 
He's not as big as the one I kill, so I don't have to listen to you all the way home. <laughs> what a great week of hunting here in Missouri. It's our last night in camp, and Mr. Jimmy is ready to fire up the grill. Well, this is uh, back straps off my eleven pointer that we're frying up here. We come all the way up here to northern Missouri to meet with some different folks and wind up a camp full of people from back home. <laughs> Slade finished up this afternoon, so I reckon we'll be loading that truck up in the morning and heading on home. But first, we're going to eat a little something. Mm -hmm. All right, look at this crew. Bow up crew. The bow up crew. Bow up crew from Mississippi Delta. We officially made old Slade and uh, uh, Mr. Jimmy uh, uh, members of the Bow Up Club. They, they got Mr. Jimmy extra large, Bill's too small. <laughs> Ooh, it looks pretty good. Oh my goodness. We got Mr. Remos, we got old Slade boy. Big old worm, Slade a big one. Oh. It's a good sight to see. That is some bone, man. That's some serious kill in there. <laughs> All above, except for mine and Mr. Jimmy. Man. Good week. Thanks for being with us on the truth and sharing with us what we love and cherish so much, this great sport of honey. Join us again as we continue the tradition of honey and just living the outdoor lifestyle. God willing, we'll see you next week.